Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. I'm Brother Bill and this is Evening Prayer for Monday, December the 19th. It's week four in Advent and the scripture for this service, Psalm 115 and Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 14 to 20. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. On Jordan's bank the Baptist cry announces that the Lord is nigh. Psalm 115. Not to us, O God Most High, not to us, but to your name give the glory for your mercy's sake, lest the heathen say, Where is their God? Our God is in the heavens, and our God does whatever he pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. Eyes they have, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. Noses they have, but they cannot smell. They have hands, but they cannot feel. Feet they have, but they cannot walk. Neither can they speak through their throat. They that make them are like them. So is everyone who trusts in them. O Israel, trust in God the Most High. God is your help and your shield. O house of Aaron, trust in God the Most High. God is your help and your shield. You who fear God the Most High, trust in God the Most High. God is your help and your shield. God the Most High has been mindful of us. God will bless us. God will bless the house of Israel. God will bless the house of Aaron. God will bless them that fear the God the Most High, both small and great. The Most High shall increase you more and more, you and your children. You are blessed by God the Most High, who made heaven and earth. The heavens are God's, but the earth has he given to its peoples. The dead do not praise you, Most High, neither do any that go down into the silence. But we will bless you from this time forth and forevermore. Praise God the Most High. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. On Jordan's bank the Baptist cry announces that the Lord is nigh. The lesson is from the prophet Zephaniah, chapter 3, beginning at verse 14. Sing aloud, O daughter of Zion, Shout, O Israel, rejoice and exult with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. For Yahweh has taken away the judgments against you. Yahweh has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, Yahweh, is in your midst, and you shall fear disaster no more. On that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Do not fear, O Zion. Do not let your hands grow weak. Yahweh your God is in your midst, a warrior who gives victory. God will rejoice over you with gladness. God will renew you in his love. God will exult over you with loud singing as on a day of festival. I will remove disaster from you so that you will not bear reproach for it. I will deal with all your oppressors at that time, and I will save the lame and gather the outcast and I will change their shame into praise and renown in all the earth. At that time I will bring you home, at that time when I gather you, for I will make you renown and praise among all the peoples of the earth, when I restore your fortunes before your eyes, says Yahweh. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. 
that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, that there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in the church, and peace in the whole world, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of St. Francis and St. Clair and all your saints, in trusting one another and all of our lives to Christ and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Almighty, everlasting God, let our prayer in your sight be as incense, the lifting up of our hands as the evening sacrifice. Give us grace to behold you present in your words and sacraments, and to recognize you in the lives of those around us. Stir in us the flame of that love, which burned in the heart of Jesus as he bore his passion and let it burn in us to eternal life and to the ages of ages. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.